2916 Borman. He will live in the left house. That house looks vacant. So does that. Two of these houses. And that house is for sale. And boarded up. Driveway <clears throat> leads up to the garage. Front porch just needs some repairs. So they've already repaired it once. Needs a little shape up. Siding could be painted. Right there. The backyard first. Fence needs repair. Garage. Tied to be painted. The roof's aluminum, so. Might need a new roof. needs some major repairs on our house you can see in the picture the front of the house front door stairs upstairs living area drywall looks pretty good besides where the wall heaters were Windows were semi new, but most of them are broken. Glass is broken out. Ceiling on the ceiling. Dining area. Textured ceilings. Broken windows. Connects to the kitchen. Basement. Drywall looks fine, kind of. Then you got ceiling damage. I don't know if that's water damage or just aging and right by the back door you got a full bath I doubt any of these fixtures are good maybe you could keep your bathtub panel ceiling and that looks super old above the panel ceiling Down to the basement. Yeah, it's a really skinny stairwell at the top, and you end up have to lean back or duck to go down. Once you get down here, it's good size, and the ceilings are high enough to finish. No copper, no hot water heater, no. I have that as a sump pump. It's not the normal sump I'm used to seeing. I don't know if we need a waterproof. This 
see maybe we need some there's, there's some cracking in the foundation definitely uh, electric panels basically strip for the copper yeah the electric definitely stripped I was trying to explain before it's like skinnier at the top of the stairs because of this beam I can barely squeeze through <clears throat> upstairs Textured up here as well. Three bedrooms. There's the first one. This is where you can see the most roof damage from the out from the inside. Um, some of these windows are fine. Most of them are broken though, like there's no window there. This bedroom has a closet, textured ceiling. And it does angle down, but the lowest it angles to is like seven, seven feet. Ceilings are plenty high. I don't even think this is considered drywall. It's peeling on the walls. <clears throat> and underneath you can see old wallpaper. So I don't know what that is. Right, second bedroom. About the same size. Another broken window. Third bedroom. It's the biggest. Two closets. You go pretty far back. Storage back there. <coughs> Just about the same. As you can see, they angle in now, so. Some dust or mold on the ceiling, and uh, I think that's it. Probably have AIDS now that I've been in this house.